This is a standard bowl of tuna poke. And this is the ultimate stony bowl. Boom, four pound, 14 ounces. We are going to see how fast I can consume this four pound monster of a poke. Ultimate stony bowl challenge. Timer starts in five, four, three, two, one, go. <coughs> Mm. Look at it! Serious man! Serious man! My hands are from Wasabi, my nose! Today is the official launch of Stony Boat. We've got 19 locations dropping coast to coast where you can order all of my signature rice bowls or even build your own bowl. Stonybowls.com to check out the locations, menu, everything you know about Stony Bowls, giveaways and stuff. Be sure to follow Stony Bowls on socials. We ordered the entire Stony Bowl menu today. So uh, let me introduce you to my six signature bowls. You know, first up, we didn't make the Stony Bowls menu with this crispy shrimp uh, wasabi aioli bowl in mind, but the chefs over at C3 came up with this awesome combination. It's delicious. So as you can partially see, we've got the crispy panko breaded shrimp with wasabi aioli on top. I'm jealous. I know. Wasabi for days, it's delicious. Next up, this is the signature spicy tuna bowl. This and the oyakodon were the reason why I wanted this menu to come together. I feel like there are certain aspects of poke marinade that people just don't get right. So this is our special blend. It's got the standard culprits in there. You know, it's got the ponji to show you, and it's delicious. So, mm. oh, oh. See, I grew up eating poke. My parents met in Hawaii. I took my first baby steps in Hawaii. A lot of my life has been on the island. And as much as I will attest that having a fresh bowl of poke in Las Vegas in the middle of the desert doesn't have the same feel. <laughs> this is what I personally think is the best poke you can get. All right, third signature bowl. Clearing up the fish, we've got the mango salmon. Obviously trying to bring a little bit more tropical flavor to the menu, we've got our mango on the side, a nice large pile of salmon in the middle with our miso ponzu sauce. So if you're a fan of a more sweet tropical experience with the poke, mango salmon. 29 year old back, I'm not gonna throw you this next one is our vegetarian bowl. For those who don't eat meat and fish, this is perfect. So the main star of the dish is the truffle avocado blend. There's a whole half of an avocado that is then later stuffed with a truffle avocado mash. Then we got some tempura crunchies over here, cucumbers, daikon carrots, lettuce, and all the good stuff on a bed of white rice. Next up, we have the oyakodon. This is on the menu because I grew up eating an oyakodon. My grandparents and parents used to always cook oyakodon. It's a comfort food for me. I don't know, I love it. Chicken, egg, rice. If you've never tried an oyakodon, I recommend giving it a shot at least once. There's nothing not to love. Oh, I got so down. <laughs> And last but not least, we have the chicken teriyaki, our take on the chicken teriyaki. Not a complex dish, it's chicken, rice, teriyaki sauce. The main difference is in the sauce. Instead of going really sweet, I don't like really sweet, syrupy teriyaki sauce. So this one has more of a kick to it. Chicken breast, caramelized onions, white rice, onion crunchies, and uh, our signature teriyaki sauce. And all of these signature bowls come in ultimate size portions. Like this is no joke. These are three and a half pound bowls. Oh my God. Oh my God. Sorry. That is the ultimate size crispy shrimp bowl. And this is the ultimate signature spicy tuna bowl. Come on, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. I want an under six, not six. Mm. The four and a half pound ultimate Stony Bowl challenge completed in six minutes flat. Yeah, I've been, been super excited for this launch. Uh, super excited to see what you guys think of Stony Bowls as well. Be sure on socials and stuff to send your photos, your opinions and everything over. We'd love to hear them. I hear a few testimonials from fans who came out to our pre-release meet and greet in Las Vegas and got to try the spicy tuna bowl. What do you guys think about the poke? Oh, it was so good. It was good. Yes, it was good. It had a nice kick to it from the jalapeno. The avocado mixed in with the rice, A1. It was delicious. It was I love good. The, I love the heat. Yes. Yeah. Like, yeah. The jalapeno. Chili, chili oil. Yeah, I thought it was the ginger. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> it was a 
panicking there for a second. Very earthy, very nice. Oh, the fish is fantastic. Very good, very fresh. It was well seasoned, not too strong, but the edamame added like a nice crunch to it. Oh, it was good. Uh, Matt, I love you. But that's it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next food challenge.